Welcome back to Ipka TV. Now the topic is echocardiogram learning, particularly suprasternal notch view and apical views. This is a suprasternal notch view. I am holding the probe at the notch level. Here you can see the aortic arch, descending aorta, subclavian arteries, both left and right, common carotid arteries. This is a continuous wave Doppler. You can see the descending iatro velocity. This is a very particular view. You can assess is there any defect with the co iatro or PDE, pectin ductus arteriosus. This is a very important view to detect descending aortic aneurysm or aortic arch aneurysm. You can see very clearly, I am holding the probe, suppressional notch, short axis view, the marker is at a 12 o'clock position, I am tilting the probe slightly towards clockwise and little leftward position. Here very clearly you can see common both common carotid arteries left subclavian artery and this one is right subclavian artery and this middle one is pulmonary artery. So only with this position of probe all the crucial information about the aortic arch level can be elicited from this echocardiogram view. And the resolution is very important. To get the best resolution, tilting the probe slightly clockwise and anticlockwise is very important. The next is apical four chambers view. Apical four chambers views gives almost 80% of the information from the heart. All the four chambers, all the three valves information can be derived from this apical four chambers view. This is a color flow, mitral flow, with the flow from left atrium to left ventricle color flow. Here in this view we can see is there any mitral digestation or mitral stenosis, is there any significant gradient between the left atrium and left ventricle. To assess mitral stenosis or mitral registration, the mitral lesions can be got from this infra view. Then tilting the probe to get the maximum resolution and accurate pictures, ultrasound images, very important for that still I am tilting and holding. You can see very clearly how I am holding the probe and firmly touching the skin. This is the pulse wave Doppler of mitral flow. Here you can see the E wave and A wave very slightly. The next resolution, yeah, so very clearly you can see E wave and A wave. This is a mitral flow of pulse wave Doppler. And tricuspid flow, flow from right atrium to right ventricle, color flow. In this view, we can see is there any tricuspid registration or tricuspid stenosis. This is a very important view. By the same way, we can see the chambers enlargement, right ventricle enlargement, right atrial enlargement. This view is apical five chambers view particularly we clearly see aortic valve and ventricular septum. In this view perimembranous VSD or muscular VSD all type of VSD can be derived from this view. This is a very important view. By color flow we can see is there any cross flow between the septum and right ventricle. This is a aortic flow of pulse wave Doppler. This is the way to assess 
aortic velocity aortic flow velocity by pulse wave doppler or continuous wave doppler we can assess here there is no ventricular septal defect there is no cross color flow across the septum here again i am trying to show you aortic valve left ventricle and mitral valve is so a very clear resolution getting the maximum resolution from the ultrasound is very important this is operator oriented repeater learning and doing number of procedure getting more information will make you more perfect in echocardiography procedures this is a very important doing echocardiography regularly and learning more information about the probe orientation and the cardiac anatomy physiology is very important thank you very much for watching ipcot tv subscribe ipcot tv for more information